Well, it's interesting. This actually, something like this happened in 1890, mm -hmm. fascinatingly enough. It was called the McKinley Tariff Act. It passed with a Republican Congress and a Republican president. It was so unpopular, it led to their defeats in 1892. And by 1892, there was a Democratic Congress and a Democratic president, Grover Cleveland, interestingly enough. So they say that history may not repeat itself, but it certainly rhymes. In the short run, I think we're still waiting to find out where the pain is and where the pain isn't. In recent polling, 17% of Americans say that they've, their financial situation has somehow been impacted by this in a bad way. 6% say, say it's been good for them. Right. In the long run, we'll see. In the long run, as some of the costs might get fed through the system and you get some dislocations, I could see this becoming more unpopular. I heard Secretary Ross talk about this at the press club several months ago, and he went into a lot of detail about where these goods are coming from and the ability of all the different trading partners to find offsets for those goods. He seemed to have convinced himself that this was a winnable trade war. I don't think trade wars are winnable. The question then becomes, for example, in a US-China trade war, Brazil becomes one of the most important sort of swing countries as a supplier. Does Brazil create enough agricultural products to then support the Chinese market and offset American producers? I think that's very much an open question.